here's some of the parts that uh, we've taken off. The tailpiece is original, no questions about that. People have a misconception about these ball bearing banjos because the only ones they've ever seen, most of them, are 25 and 26 models. They had springs under them, but these particular set, this particular setup right here, had these little washers like that, and the ball bearing that set down in these holes, and it sits up above the plane, the top plane of the, of the shell. <coughs> The cone tube sits on top of that. Originally they had little nails in them that went up through these holes and kind of held the cone tube in place until it's put together. Somebody has enlarged every other one of these holes. Uh, you can tell that that wasn't a factor deal. I thought it looked funny, but uh, I don't think that'll affect it. Too much. It may, it may improve it. Someone was probably attempting to improve it. They did that. So here's the, the tube, the flange, and the tension hoop. I've got the uh, tone tube from this uh, little Gibson banjo hanging up on a piece of, piece of uh, fishing wire. And I know there's going to be a lot of skeptics about these tone tube banjos. I would have been myself if I hadn't seen this progress and, and hadn't already remodeled a couple of these banjos. But uh, in case any of you wonder if there's any sound in one of these tone tubes, uh, listen to this. pound cast tone ring. That's just a little bit of brass. Now that sounds like a bell to me. Still ringing too. 